Sally. On this episode of Lauren in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make a roasted red pepper bruschetta. Here's what you need. Some marinated roasted peppers, smoked mozzarella, and a baguette. Now, I have made these myself, the roasted peppers. I've roasted them and I marinated them myself. If you can't, um, if you don't want to do them yourself, you can always go into the store and buy a jar of red peppers. But if you do want to make them yourself, go to my website at www.learningthekitchen.com. I have a video and a recipe for how to make them at home. Okay, let's get started. First thing you want to do is preheat your griddle pan for your bread. Now, you want to cut your bread so you can get it out of the way. And you also want to preheat your broiler to high because we're going to melt some of the smoked mozzarella right over the top. You want to cut your baguette just like that, about a quarter to a half an inch thick, like that, okay. And this is gonna make about eight pieces, eight appetizers. I think I do, um, I do two per person, so this will feed about four people. Okay, there you go. Okay, my baguette's nice sliced, and I'm gonna drizzle with a little bit of olive oil, not much. Okay, it's one side, and we'll do the second really quickly. You're using such few ingredients. I mean, it's going to be so good, but you just want to make sure that you flavor every step of it. Now to the grill pan. My grill pan's nice and hot, and I'm going to put my baguette right down. Here we go. Keep an eye on it because it will burn quickly. Shouldn't take very long, about a minute aside, if that. Now, meanwhile, we're going to slice our mozzarella, smoked mozzarella. Now, if you've never had smoked mozzarella, it's so good. It's it, basically it's what it is. It's smoked mozzarella. Every supermarket has it nowadays, but if you can't find it, you can always just substitute with regular mozzarella. I really like the smokiness of the smoked mozzarella with the smokiness of the roasted peppers. So I'm just going to cut them in thin slices like that, just so they can go all over the piece of your baguette. Okay, I'm just going to cut eight pieces because that's how many I need. Meanwhile, I think my bread's ready, so let's go grab it. Now my bread is done, last piece, back to the counter to top them. Okay. Here we go. I've taken a baking sheet and I've lined it with aluminum foil just for easy cleanup. Now I'm going to line them all up so I can start topping them and putting them in the broiler, under the broiler I should say. You don't want to overdo it. Okay. Last one done. Now we're going to top them with the smoked mozzarella. My slide off a little. That. Now we're going to put these under the broiler just till they start melting. Just keep an eye on it because they will burn very quickly. Now taking these out of the broiler, now you can see the cheese is nice and melted and everything is kind of nice and brown and crispy. They're perfect as is. So I'm just going to put them on a platter. And they're gonna be so crispy. They stay crispy for a while too. Whoops. That's okay. Fix it right up. Just like that. Nobody will know. Here we go. Put on one more. Here we go. This is so easy. It's so simple. It's a great appetizer. You can do it for four people in the same amount of time. And you can do it for 10 people in the same amount of time you did it for four people. I hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. And if you'd like to get this recipe and other recipes, 